Hello there, Karen Hollenbach from Think Bespoke. Today, I'd like to talk to you about crafting your LinkedIn company page promise. So if you're tuning in, you may have just been given responsibility for managing the company page presence for your organization. You may lead your own business and have discovered this company page feature and be wondering what to do with it. Or you've noticed that you're just not getting a lot of traction or um, many conversations started based on what you are posting from your LinkedIn company page and it's all a bit sporadic and you haven't really thought through your plan. So if any of those scenarios are describing you, you've come to the right place. So although the invite connections to follow your company page feature has certainly made it easier to grow your company page followers, what will help you grow your company page followers even more is to be posting great content that is relevant to the people that you're wishing to serve and influence on LinkedIn. Now, if you haven't done that thinking about, well, actually, who are we serving on LinkedIn? Go back to episode two and we ask, I ask you to sort of consider that question. And that same question that I ask you in episode two about what do you want to be known for and who are you trying to influence needs to be applied to your company page promise. So it's the same, same, but different. So what do you mean by that, Karen? So glad you asked. Well, if I'm going to follow your company page, what should I be expecting to learn about, stay informed about, be updated on? And this is critical for two reasons. The first reason is if someone follows you, they're expecting a consistent message to come through based on the information on your company page. So you've got the headline feature, you've got the banner feature, you've got the about feature within the company page set up that gives people an indication of what they can expect to uh, learn or stay informed from your company page updates. The second way is that when you're inviting people to follow the company page, so I don't mean the feature that you can just get in as an admin and invite your connections to follow the page. I mean if you're having conversations in LinkedIn messaging, if you're posting an update uh, via you, you or your team's LinkedIn profiles to say, hey, you know, come and follow our updates over here, you've got to have a simple one, uh, one line statement that says to people, follow our company page for what? And that's the promise. So I'll give you an example of what I've crafted for Think Bespoke, and then you can use that to think about, well, what does that mean in terms of our company page promise to help people know what they can be informed about when they follow your company page? But also it's got to be related to your commercial goals and your LinkedIn marketing plans. Now, just to quickly clarify, I did refer to your company page information as a headline before, which might confuse you. I did actually mean the tagline, not the headline. So here's the company page promise I use for Think Bespoke. So you may also like to follow Think Bespoke's company page for LinkedIn news and insights to assist your professional journey. Now that might sound like it's just rolled off my tongue so easily and I've just thought about it. That's not so. I spend a lot of time thinking about what sort of content do I want to share with the different communities that I serve on LinkedIn. Now because Think Bespoke offers a variety of different services across a number of different industries, I had to find the one key theme for each of the communities that we serve. And so that's why I've landed on LinkedIn news and insights to assist your professional journey. And that also helps me stay very, very focused when I curate and share content to the LinkedIn company page for Think Bespoke that I am consistently delivering against that company page promise for my followers. So that's today's bite-sized LinkedIn marketing tip. How can you craft your LinkedIn company page promise so your followers are really clear about what to expect when they follow your company page, when you invite them from your team's profiles or via messaging? 
And then it will also really help you if you can anchor that statement with and have it with you when you're curating and creating your content to keep you focused on delivering that promise to your community. If you enjoyed this episode, please leave a review and share this podcast with your friends and colleagues. If you'd like to learn more about how to leverage LinkedIn, I'd love to be your guide. Sign up to my e-insights, my monthly newsletter that's packed with LinkedIn tips, thought starters and exclusive subscriber offers. If you're just starting out on your LinkedIn journey, I'm so glad you've found me and I recommend you check out my LinkedIn Profile Essentials online course. If you want to be the go-to for your organization's LinkedIn presence, I recommend you check out my LinkedIn Marketing Mentoring Program. Thank you.